Today we are unpacking dynamic arrays in a matter of minutes and we'll be putting our newfound knowledge to the test with a lead code challenge. While static arrays remain fixed in size, dynamic arrays are adjusting to your needs and they can expand or shrink on the go. In languages like Python or JavaScript, arrays or lists are inherently dynamic. This means that we can start with an empty array and dynamically add elements without worrying about its size. But how do dynamic arrays stretch and squeeze in memory? When a dynamic array is created, it's allocated to a block of memory, just like a static array. But this block has some extra room, just in case the array needs to grow. However, when our array outgrows even this extra room, it's relocated to a bigger block of memory, and the old items are copied to this new memory, and the old block is released. This operation can be time consuming, but it happens infrequently enough that on average, adding an element is a constant time operation. Let's see how efficient are dynamic arrays. Just like in static arrays, accessing an element in a dynamic array is super fast at O of 1 time complexity. Searching demands time proportional to the size of array, because in worst case, the item you're searching for can be the last one in the array, which leads us to an O of n time complexity. Inserting an element at the end is usually O of 1. However, as we saw previously, in rare cases when the array needs to expand, it could take longer. But remember that this doesn't happen very often. While appending at the end is typically O of 1, inserting in the middle requires shifting elements to make room for the new element, making it O of n operation. For deletion again, remember the twist. Deleting from the end is O of 1, but deleting from the middle or the start is O of n, because just like in insertion, items need to shuffle around to shift the remaining elements to the left and decrease the size of the array. And now let's try to solve a lead code problem to practice arrays. The challenge is lead code's to some problem, which asks you to find two numbers in an array that add up to the target value. Remember that every insertion or deletion is a slow operation in dynamic arrays. Try to come up with a solution of O of n time complexity. And if you get stuck, watch this solution video where we'll solve that challenge together. To wrap things up, dynamic arrays offer flexibility. Unlike static arrays, they can automatically grow or shrink in size. Accessing an element is O of 1 time complexity, just like in static arrays. Searching is O of n for both. For insertions and deletions, dynamic arrays average O of 1 for appends but can stretch to O of n if it's in the middle, unlike static arrays which are constant for end operations but always O of n for central changes. Watch the solution video of lead code challenge after you try it yourself and if you've missed the video on static arrays, check it out right after this one. See you next time.